I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling a little bit right now. I'm getting so tired. Hello, welcome, it's Claudia. If you're new here, today we are doing two Anthurium repots. They're two of my pendant Anthuriums and arguably my two favorite Anthuriums. They're just so beautiful. We're gonna do the Pelletiflorum and the Queen Anthurium or Waroquianum. I always have such a hard time saying that name. Um, but both are growing really nicely. The Queen Anthurium lives in my Mills Bow Wide cabinet and I'm getting a little bit concerned that it's obviously going to outgrow it pretty quickly and my politiflorum lives just in ambient on my shelves above my desk but we're doing i mean they're both getting repots the politiflorum is currently in like a cocoa chip and sphagnum moss mix i believe maybe there's perlite in there too and my waroquianum waroquianum maybe if i don't think about it i can say it better is already in pond so i'm going to be transferring my pillar my pelitiflorum into pond and the queen anthurium is just getting a simple upsize so i hope that that sounds good to you and let's get started I brought all my supplies. I'm sure I'm probably going to need to get up at some point because I forgot something. That's just how it goes. But I think that I'm all set up and ready. If you've seen some of my videos and particularly like anything with anthuriums, you may have seen or know that I typically have been transferring anthuriums from whatever soil mix they're in into pond without any kind of transition period in water or in fluval stratum like I do with alocasias and that's worked really well. So the only reason I didn't do it with my politiflorum because I've had that one now for quite a bit. I can insert the date when I got it. But the reason why I kept it where it was was because I was just so enamored with it and I was afraid to disturb it and I just wanted to if it was like, if it's not broke, don't fix it sort of situation. So I kept it where it was, but it's drying out super quickly now. I mean, it's also the time of year and it's growing. It's given me several new leaves since I got it. So I figured now is as good time as any to switch it up into pond, which was always my goal. Eek, I just realized how dry this is, which isn't great for a number of reasons. I don't want to stress the plant out and then it's probably going to be much harder to get the sphagnum moss off of the roots, but um, we're just going to try our best. Also, there's a new leaf coming, so I will try my very best. To be there's two new leaves. Oh, or maybe... Oh, actually, I think this is an inflorescent right here. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. By the way, I someone said to me that you're not supposed to try to pollinate the first inflorescent an anthurium gives you. Like if it's, you know, a baby and you're growing it and it's the first one you get, you're not supposed to pollinate it because it could unalive it. Like it'll stress it out too much. So I don't have a ton of information on that but someone knowledgeable or that i you know i trust their advice said that so just fyi let me know if you've tried it and had issues or everything went fine i don't know okay so i did anticipate that i might need a tub of water to, like to try to get some of the sphagnum moss off so i do have that and let's just dig in see how it goes Oh my god, it's so dry in here. I feel awful. So it looks like it's perlite and sphagnum. I really don't see any cocoa chips. I don't know why I thought. Here we go. Yeah, it looks like just perlite and sphagnum. And some of these roots are really dry. The sphagnum moss actually seems to be coming off 
quite easily. There's something interesting in here. Trash. This is exactly why I don't like sphagnum moss. By the way, there are some cocoa chips in here, just very, very little. Just saw two pieces. I'm just trying my best to be very gentle and careful with the root system. I feel like I need a I need a fresh tub of water to try to keep soaking stuff in without any more of it getting tangled. There's like these blue little plastic things. Trash. How do you feel about sphagnum moss? I know that it's like great for rooting and blah 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 blah, but for me like it just, I would rather use a fluval stratum that's going to be much easier to remove unless you're like planning to keep it in sphagnum moss long term. I feel like this is just such a headache. Okay, I think I'm going to try to take this to the sink and rinse like I do when I'm removing soil and see if that helps. Sphagnum is just, it holds on for dear life. And I can tell it's not like that long fiber one, the New Zealand or, you know, something comparable because, yeah, it's coming off in itty bitty pieces. Which I know the New Zealand one is more expensive, but it really is worth it. Okay, I think I'm just going to take it to the sink. This is what we're looking like. Okay, I'm back and I did get most of it off. Like just as soon as I had water running on the roots, a lot of it started coming off much easier. Um, but there is obviously still a lot of the dogs. Or more than I would like or more than I would like on the roots so I think that I'll let it soak here we'll repot the queen anthurium and then we will come back to this one this is my queen anthurium this is the newest leaf she is gorgeous she is everything I thought this leaf was huge this one's a little bit bigger um, it just like finished harding off. But yeah, I mean, I think that they're pretty similar in size, but this, ugh, I just, I love her. I think she is so beautiful. Um, and I just have her in this tiny little pot and the inside is even like tinier. So you can see roots coming out of the top. I know that some people have this on a moss pole. I'm just going to continue letting it be kind of like this the way she is now and I was thinking I would do this pot which looks very similar in size but it's actually eek maybe I should do the other pot because it's not that much bigger let's see so this pot I want to do for the Politiflorum, but I do have another one. I have two of each, so it shouldn't be a problem. I guess in my head I just thought the other one was, since this one's so tiny, I just was like, oh yeah, that'll be great. I mean, maybe it will be once I get the roots out, but just in case, let's prep this one. I got these off Amazon. They are the Lechuza Planters. Um, I do like these, both of these styles, and they come in two sizes. I think this is a small, yeah, I think they're both a small, and they come in a larger size um, also, but I, I do like them. They have the inner, they have a wick, and then the water gauge meter thing, so they work really well. I know that a lot of the other Lechuza Planters don't have like the inner pot they just they have like a plug that you can drain or you know flush the medium or what have you 
So I do, I, I prefer when there's an inner pot. Gosh, this isn't even that much. It's significantly wider. Okay, so we'll use either of these depending on what the roots look like. I have a tray to catch the pond because I do like to reuse. Okay. So let's bring this out. And just very carefully. I know that people say like Queen Anthurium does not like her leaves touched in any way, <laughs> especially when they are first emerging or like still extending. So I'm trying to be really careful. Oh, here we go. Um, I mean, I think that the root ball would fit in either of them, but I do want to break it up a little bit because I'm pretty certain, like you can tell, I used pond on her that wasn't rinsed. So it has all of that sediment at the bottom um, that I would rather not have. Pull the wick. Okay, back to the sink I go. I'll be right back. I'm back. I was as not invasive as I possibly could and I just rinsed this pond to try to remove any and all of the sediment. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the larger one, which is this one. I don't want to set it down because I'm trying to like not touch the leaves on anything as much as I can. squeezed it in the other one but it would have been too small for sure like outgrown it really fast does anybody else make mess just when you're pouring stuff straight because I do to bury her more honestly I don't want to do anything else today I think that this is okay for today just a little bit more right in this corner and we will water her through gosh I think she's gorgeous she's so beautiful I just cannot she's so so pretty back in the cabinet she goes I will say about these Latruza planters they are definitely more expensive than you know um, a knockoff thing that you can find on Amazon for example but they do come with a little baggie of lechuzapan, which is nice considering they're always sold out. I don't, yeah, I guess it's like enough to fill this pot. So there's that. And I know the bigger sizes come with them too because I ordered one once that I ended up returning because it didn't have the inner pot. Um, 
So yeah, they all come with like a little baggie of Pond. I've been talking for who knows how long and I wasn't recording. Oh boy. Um, okay. So the roots look pretty good, but I, I still have a lot more sphagnum moss than I care to, but I'm, I mean, this is just what it's going to have to be. It's impossible to remove every single fiber of it. I'm giving them like just one last gentle shake. And I think I wasn't recording when I already added pawn in here. Okay. I think this is as good as it gets, unfortunately. Hopefully it's okay. That's good. Let's add some water. And she set. So here it is. I love the way that it looks. This is, again, I think both of these, the Waraquanum and the Palatiflorum are my two like most favorite anthuriums out of all the anthuriums that I have. I mean, they're both pendant, but I, I just, they're just so beautiful. I, their leaves are like shimmery. The queen has like the prettiest veining um, with like the little heart shaped lobe. It's just, they're just so beautiful. Yeah, I, I think that they're for sure my favorite. I was thinking about shooting an Anthurium collection video, so let me know if you'd want to see that. Um, but this is what this looks like, and I love it already. Please, please, please send good transition vibes because I'm just a little bit worried since it was so dry, like it was dehydrated when I did the transfer, but hopefully that doesn't, like it doesn't affect it, it doesn't shock, and it just continues to go on its merry way. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it and or found it entertaining. I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I try to upload twice a week, usually Tuesdays and Sundays. There's new videos up and yeah, I just love sharing plenty things with you. All right, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I'll see you soon. Bye.